Yeah, I think more people are more interested in the motorcycle than kayak fishing, but right now I'm definitely on a fishing ah! and outdoors kick. All right, I'm going down these rapids. They're extremely shallow, so I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to fully go down. But, whoa, those are carp for sure. Uh, wish me luck. If I tip over, I'm losing a lot of expensive shit. Actually, you know what? Anchor, you're not doing your job. Where is my anchor? Oh no! What the hell is the point of an anchor? You're telling me I'm going down this bitch backwards. Ah! All right, too late for the anchor. Why am I going down sideways? Whoa. <laughs> okay. This is a lot less daunting than it actually is. So I just need to calm down, handle it like a reasonable human. Looks like it gets a little faster flowing up ahead. Actually, let's see if I can make it to the side over here. Woo! Not what I wanted to do. Why does it keep, oh my gosh! <laughs> All right, put a little power into the uh-oh. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> no, not my expensive, ah, ah, no. Things are not going well. Uh. Uh. Rod. <sighs> we'll be okay. I need to get that box. Very badly. Very badly, I need that box. Okay. Here we go. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, super no. I cannot lose that stuff. Ugh. Calm down. We're going down the river. Are y'all still with me? Please tell me y'all are still with me. Okay, heavy turn, heavy turn. We're okay, we're okay. Yeah, slow down here. I see my box. Oh. Yes, yes. Uh, my tackle box is gone. Let's get this bad boy out of here. Yes, it's alive. <laughs> okay, okay. Things could be worse right now. Get the fuck in there. <sighs> yep, that sounds about right. You fucking dropped the anchor. <sighs> oh, I'm alive. <laughs> Phone. water seal did not work that's okay come on case 
There we go. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we alive. My wrap is dead. There's no deader wrap. There's never been a deader wrap. Five dollars gone. Tackle box. I think it's a little more than that. I need to dry this phone off. Unfortunately, there's not much on me that's dry. Ooh, that's a big fish. Uh, uh, what is happening? Okay. <laughs> oh, look at this. Look at what I've done here. <laughs> Here's the first sign that I'm okay and that that fall went better than it could have been. Although I definitely didn't help the fall. I made things a lot worse than they needed to be. All my streaming equipment is fine. So that's the big plus. I thought for sure my uh, wireless hotspot was going to be done though. I don't, I'm not worried about myself number one because this water is pretty shallow and number two i have a life jacket on but yeah I, I still could drown i'm just not that worried about it the biggest thing i was worried about was my equipment getting fried oh yeah there's a lot of rocks that i don't think i would have gone head first in but again anything could happen it's just in my opinion not likely there's not much dry on me Everything from about my chest up is dry. Everything else is soaked. I need to dry this out. I did lose my tackle box, which is not fun. I'm hoping to see it floating down the river here in a minute or two. Tackle box. That's like all my fishing lures and stuff, which all that stuff wasn't expensive, but I don't want to pollute the river with it. I did have one expensive thing that I usually put in there, but I took it out before I came. That's some mosquito repellent. Oh, I'm not done fishing. This ain't over. Man, I don't even know if I should put this back in this case. Hold on, I might lose y'all here, here for a second. <laughs> don't be too worried. Again, I'm wearing a life jacket. Not only that, but this lake's super popular, so if someone sees a body, floating down the river they're gonna stop and help i would hope all right i'm giving up on this case my phone might press some buttons while it's in my vest pocket but i guess we'll see so i lost my tackle box which i thought it would float but maybe it took on enough water not to do that i was really worried i was gonna lose this guy which has my airpod case my car keys my wallet, pretty much everything I need to get back home and or buy things and identify myself is in this box, which was floating away from me. That's why I was so desperate to chase after it. But I got it back. My water stayed on board and I got a whole lot more water. My lunch is gone. <laughs> well, it's not gone, it's just a little soggy. Ugh. The fish can have that one. Fish got a big win today. Look at my rat laughing at me. Shit. I'm gonna toss this back in here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Wet lunch. Only day I brought food. It was in... I just wasn't meant to eat on these outings. I need this to dry it off. This anchor is the worst anchor ever anchored. Yeah, I'm bleeding a little bit right here and down here. I got some cuts, but they're not bad. They're like cat scratches. Let's see if I can see what's going on with it. It's just not grabbing anything. 
It's hard to grab because it's behind me, but maybe if I let off some more line here. I kept my paddle, which is pretty important. There you go. That's why it did not grab onto anything. It decided to fold itself up. <sighs> Equipment failure. I think I might have lost y'all again. My phone's going to be pressing all sorts of buttons. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I still got my eyes open for the tackle box. I, th I might head back upstream. No, I definitely will head back upstream to look for it. Yeah, my phone's working fine. Everything's working as it should. But if I put my phone in my vest, since my vest is wet, it's thinking I'm touching the screen. And it keeps, it keeps um, tapping out of speech chat, which is what I use to talk to you guys in. Anchors up. See if we can't find my tackle box. All right, so we're looking for... I mean, you saw it float away from me. <laughs> we're looking for a red box. It's not even a box, it's cloth. I don't have high hopes we're going to find it because since it's made out of cloth, it probably took on a good amount of water and sunk. But there are some things inside of it that hold air so it may still be floating nah it's red but if it is orange then i am way more colorblind than i thought possible current flow is pretty heavy right here hopefully i'm back for good at least till this battery dies I think the GoPro battery died. I just had to th toss a new one in there. Yeah, I didn't find my tackle box either. That thing's gone. Someone will find it one day. They'll wonder who lost it, how they lost it. Yeah, for real. I keep thinking, what if I had done that? I had a drone once that uh, flew away from me. I had my phone number on that thing. That was years ago, and I still haven't heard about it. <laughs> but... I have one lure, which means I have a chance at catching a fish. <laughs> yeah, if this thing snags, that's game over. I came all the way out here. I gotta catch something besides a cold. I'm just gonna walk for now. Even if I don't, there's still lessons to be learned every day. Today I learned way more than just one or two. There's no way I had a rougher time than that hobo though, so I count myself as lucky. Uh, I saw some fish jumping over there. I don't know if my camera was on, but there were fish running right around my ankles, chasing little bait fish. Kayak, don't go anywhere. This poor rod needs some oiling now. It got fully submerged. My line is very twisted. Yeah, I know. I was just thinking that too. Like, I swear, less than two minutes ago, I was like, shit, I didn't even drink. <laughs> Maybe if I had something to calm my nerves, I wouldn't have freaked out on the rapids. I was relying way too much on that anchor. I freaked out for sure. I swear, if I see my kayak floating down the river, I'm gonna be... I'm just gonna give up on kayaking. Why wouldn't I? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I need to tell you what happened last night. I had just stopped the stream, put my camera up, closed my trunk. There was a car parked with its headlights on because it was dark. And there were two guys like play fighting in front of it. 
and one just like got down and was laying in the road. But I'm like, okay, these guys are obviously drunk, messing around with their friend. Whoever was driving the car started to drive away and they were kind of like hopping, up, hopping alongside of it, like hitting the windows, asking them to let them in. And the car just kept driving, so they got on the roof. I figured maybe it was like their girlfriend or something. They got in a fight and they were mad at them and they were just too drunk to say, hey, no, for real, stop the car, let us in. So I'm watching all this happen. They get on the roof and the car just starts going and they're going 30 miles an hour then they hook left to leave the neighborhood and they take off by this point i'm in my car watching them so i'm like oh no i gotta follow them i gotta see what the heck is gonna happen with these guys they're hauling ass down the road they blew past another stop sign we come to an intersection where they have to jump into traffic so they're at the stop sign waiting for a chance to go these dudes are on top of the car sitting on there like fist pumping they're having a good time still one of the guys he stands on two feet on top of the car as he does that the car books it and he falls off the car into traffic in the middle of the street and I'm like oh by this time I got my phone out and I'm trying to record as best I can but my recording <laughs> My, my recording just barely starts when he's, he's on his ass and he's getting up out of the middle of the road. Oh yeah, of course, because I knew what was going to happen. You can't just stay on the roof of a car while it's moving, even at slow speeds. Roofs are slippery. There's no grip up there. So the dude falls off. I swear he smacked his head hard on the pavement. So I'm like, oh no, these guys are too drunk. I need to give this guy a ride home. I need to give all of them a ride home because they're gonna end up hitting someone or going to jail or hurting someone besides themselves. The dude's still on the car and the car just keeps going. And I'm like, well, I, I'm sure he's gonna like try to find a good place to turn around or whatever. So the dude that fell off the car, he's in the street, he gets up and he starts walking to the sidewalk. You could tell like, Okay, that sobered him up a bit because falling off a car does not feel good. <laughs> what is going on with my line here? I'm just not going to fish today. This is, it's not my day. This is every, every sign is telling me stop fishing. <laughs> I would eventually find out that they are young adults. Uh, they were like early 20s, I think. Anyway, so the dude's walking back to the sidewalk defeated. I roll down my window, I'm like, hey bro, do you need a ride? Like, I'll, I'll take you to your friends. So the guy's like, yeah, I'll, t I'll take a ride back to my friends. I was like, all right, man, hop in. Uh, all they had was swimming trunks, no shoes, no shirts. Dude's in my car, I see his buddy walking across the street. He obviously hopped off his friend's car to go back and look for his friend who just fell. I go to the empty parking lot. His buddy walks over and he's like, bro, are you okay? He's like, yeah, my, fu my fucking hand hurts, it hurts. I was like, hey man, just sit down for a second. They were both outside of my car at this point. I told them, just sit in the car. I got some water. Y'all need some water. Can I give y'all like a ride home or something? Did you hit, hit your head? He's like, no, nah, I didn't hit my head, but my hand hurts. And I look at his hand and his pinky's all fucking busted open and swelled up. He's like, fuck, I think I broke my fucking finger. I was like, uh, I'm more worried about your head. I hope it's okay. I was like, how about your wrist? How's your wrist? He's like, it fucking hurts. I was like, well, hopefully it's just sprained. And his buddy's like, bro, I came back for you. And he's like, fucking thank you, man. I was like, where's y'all's friend? He just, he took off and I haven't seen him come back. He should have come back by now for y'all. They're like, oh, he'll come back. Don't worry. I was like, okay, uh, do y'all have phones on you? They're like, no, we just got, we, we were just swimming. I was like, okay, do y'all know his number? Do you know your friend's number by heart? And the dude that fell, his name is Josh. I'm gonna give names to these people soon. Josh is like, yeah, I know his number. I was like, okay, here's my phone, you can call it. I give him my phone and he starts just typing random numbers. I saw he obviously couldn't type a, a phone number normally. So I was like, all right, man, here, just give me the phone. Tell me his number. He's like, all right, 512, fuck. I don't remember. I was like, that's okay. Can I give y'all a ride somewhere? They're like, no, nah. the dude who fell, Josh, he's like, I live in. I was like, that's okay. I really don't mind driving y'all. Like, I just need to make sure y'all get home safe. And the other dude's like, I live the other way. I was like, well, you can just crash at his, his house tonight, right? That's cool. He's like, no, nah, I need to get home. Okay, whatever. We got to find your friend. Where are your phones? They're like, with him. I was like, okay, we'll just call your phones. Maybe he'll answer. I was like, what's your name, man? And he's like, I'm Tyler. That's Josh. I was like, all right, Tyler. What's your phone number? He's like, yeah, my phone's hooked up to the car. 
so I should be able to, he should answer. I was like, okay. He gives me his phone number, I call, put him on speaker, and he, did, he doesn't answer. And then I was like, all right, Josh, what's your phone number? Maybe he'll answer it. He's like, all right. So he gives me his phone number, I call it, no answer. I was like, well, your friend, I don't know what he's doing. He hasn't come back. He's not answering the phones. I was like, I, I guess I'm just gonna keep calling. I was like, you sure I can't just take y'all home? They're like, nah, he's my roommate. The guy that's driving is my roommate. His name's Steven. I was like, okay. And Tyler goes, yeah, that's my car he's driving. I was like, he's driving your car? Why is he driving your car? And he just took it. Like, he's, he's not back, and I don't think he's coming back. They're like, no, he'll come back. I was like, well, he's not answering your phones. They're like, fuck, man, did he leave us? I was like, well, he obviously left y'all for now, or he got lost, or he's getting arrested right now. They were like, fuck, bro, we can't go through this. Like, we need, to, we need to get back to the car. I was like, okay, well, I'm going to call him again. So I call Tyler's phone again, and the dude answers. Steven answers. Immediately, Tyler goes, the Amsterdam, we're at the Amsterdam. You got to come back to the Amsterdam. He says, it's Canyon, it's Canyon. I was like, I don't know what the Amsterdam or Canyon is, but whatever. The dude finally responds, and he's like, okay, okay, I'm coming back. I look up and in front of us there's a smoke shop called the Amsterdam, so I was like, oh, that's the Amsterdam. And the dude's like, okay, I'm coming back. And they're like, fuck, yeah, come back to us. I was like, I can take y'all to where you just left from, so there's no discrepancies, he knows exactly where to go. They're like, no, no, just, uh, we'll go to the Amsterdam, he'll pick us up at the Amsterdam. I was like, okay. And they hung up. And I was like, who's Canyon? And Tyler goes, I'm Canyon. I was like, your name's Tyler. He's like, uh, yeah. I was like, did you give me a burner name? <laughs> He's like, yeah. <laughs> He's like, I'm sorry. I was like, it's okay, it's whatever. I'm not trying, I'm only trying to help you guys. So like, just a heads up. He's like, okay, okay. I was, <sighs> dude gave me a burner name, <laughs> which is, I kind of commend him for doing that. That's pretty smart, but also like, I've only helped y'all. Oh, and by the way, while all this is happening, uh, of course a bunch of people saw them fall from the car. Like, it was kind of heavy traffic, and I wasn't the only one driving. People around here are pretty nice, so uh, one lady came up. She's like, hey, are y'all okay? Are y'all okay? <laughs> Canyon, who was previously known as Tyler, goes, yeah, we're all right. Sheesh, we're doing good. I was like, this dude needs to quiet down. He's attracting too much attention. And then another car drives up with two guys and they're like, hey man, are y'all okay? <laughs> and he goes, we're fucking fine. Sheesh, he flips them both off. I'm like, oh my God, I, these guys are gonna get me in some shit I don't wanna be in. All I'm trying to do is help them and they're causing problems. We're sitting there waiting for their buddy to come back. Josh won't stop moving around. He keeps getting out of the car. He went to the trunk and I was like, hey man, you just need to stay still. I don't want police to see y'all and take y'all anywhere. He's like, oh fuck, I'm, t I'm just, everything hurts right now. I was like, yeah, that's, it's okay. Here, just drink some more water. Canyon takes the water bottle I gave him and Josh is like laying down in my trunk and he just fucking throws all the water on him in my trunk. So now my trunk is soaked, but I'm in my beater car, so I don't, I'm not mad about it. <laughs> I'm just like, come on, y'all are wasting the resources I'm giving you. And I'm trying to give y'all a, a hand here so you don't go to jail, but of course they're not thinking about that. It's been like 15 minutes and I'm like, hey, I don't know if your friend is lost or maybe again, he might've gotten pulled over, but I don't see him. Is he coming back? They're like, yeah, he should have been here by now. I was like, I don't know if your friend is coming back for you guys. Let's try calling him again. So we call, no answer. Call Josh's phone, no answer. Call Canyon's phone, no answer. Call Josh's phone again, and he answers. So now he's answered both of their phones separately for some reason. And I was like, hey, is this Steven? He's like, yeah, yeah. I was like, hey man, where are you? I've got your friends right here. We're waiting for you to come back. And they're like, yeah, Steven, where are you? He's like, oh, I'm coming back. I just got to the apartment right now. I was like, you, why did you go to the apartment? He went to their apartment in a different city. So like, we're in New Braunfels and dude lives in San Marcos with his roommate who now went to their apartment in San Marcos. He left them here. These are his friends and he left them. Not only did they fall off the roof of a car, 
but he left them without a care in the world and, and for some reason answered the phone calls. So I'm like, well, uh, why don't you just stay at the apartment? I'm gonna bring your buddies back to you. He's like, no, I'll come back and pick them up. I was like, no, dude, just stay there. I'm taking your friends back to you. Just stay there, don't go anywhere. And they're like, yeah, Steven, just stay there. We'll meet you there. He's like, okay, I'm not gonna go nowhere. For real though, stay there. He's like, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna stay here. So now I'm like, all right, just give me y'all's address. We need to get out of this parking lot because they've already yelled, flipped people off, fell off a car. We're not gonna have too many more chances before the police come. They give me their address and I'm like, all right, we're on our way now. So we start driving over there. I was like, can we talk about your shit friend right now? Why would he leave you guys there? And Kenny goes, man, I just met this guy. I don't know him. And Josh goes, he's not a bad guy. He's my roommate. He's solid. I was like, this dude is not solid. He let, he dropped, he dropped you guys off the roof of his car and then just left. And then said he was coming back, but didn't come back. Went to y'all's apartment. And I'll fucking be surprised if we see him there. They're like, yeah, fuck him. This wouldn't have happened if he would have come back for us. So we get to the apartment. Canyon's like, oh, I got a piss. I was like, okay, we're basically here, so you can just, you can hold it, you'll be good. He's like, no, I gotta piss, and he starts banging on my seats in the back. I was like, hey man, don't bang on my seats, and I said, please don't piss in my car. He's like, oh, don't worry, I'm not gonna piss in your car. Oh, fuck, but I gotta piss so bad. I was like, man, do not piss in my car. He's like, don't worry, I'm not gonna piss in your fucking car. I was like, okay, I'm just making sure, because you're kind of like acting crazy right now. He's like, oh, it's okay, just get me. Oh, 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 I got a fish. This one ain't getting away from me. This one ain't getting away from me. Yup, 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 yup. He's a strong swimmer. Yup, 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 yup. <laughs> Look at it. Yeah. <laughs> I got myself a yellow belly bass. Where am I grabbing him? Here we go. Wow. Who is seeing this right now? I need to take him back over here. Please someone tell me you're seeing this right now. Ugh. Of course. Oh, I got a fish. <laughs> How are y'all doing today? I'm doing okay. Hey, y'all haven't seen a tackle box floating around, have you? Yeah, What's that? I said, not yet, but I'm just oh, that way. it might be. I'll holler if I see it. Thank you. Y'all have a good day. Is it red? Yep. There's a red thing right here. I can't tell what it is. I'm heading right there. Thank you so much. Okay, today has turned around. Those kayakers said they saw something red in the water over here. Yeah, I was talking to them and I think my tackle box is right over here, which would be very cool. I think it's this shadowy thing maybe. Ah! No, this isn't it. Oh, I might be walking too far away. Oh no. I wonder what they were talking about when they said there's something red over here. They said, is it red? I said, yeah, it is. They said, there's something red over here. I was like, awesome. Oh, this might be it. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> it is soaked. It is completely filled with water, but I found it. <laughs> Things are turning around. Oh. Sigh of relief. Yeah, there's no way this was floating. It is so, so heavy right now. So right now the only loss we're at is uh, one burrito, five dollars. Wow, what an interesting day. Let's see how bad everything looks. Look what I got. 
I can now clip my very important fox to me. Wow. Check it out. <laughs> Today's just gone so well. And that's saying, that's after I fell in the water. I caught a fish. I found my, I found all my stuff. I didn't lose a single thing. Thanks for helping me spot that. It looked like a rock to me. I almost didn't go after it. But then you said, I bent down and looked a little closer and you're like, that's it. I was like, oh, no way. Oh boy. I'm so glad all of that was on camera. My phone shut down, it was overheating. So that's why I had to end the stream. But we should be good from here on. I'm gonna have to finish telling you that story. I don't even know what to do. <laughs> I'm gonna keep fishing, that's for sure. I got my lucky lure on. It's a little messed up now. It got ripped up the belly. Oh yeah, I was gonna look in here. Those are all soaked. These hooks are gonna rust. This I think is sealed. These seem sealed. I'm gonna take some casualties, but I got some good lures back. Pliers. These are, were already getting rusty. They probably don't have much longer. And nothing else in there. This thing holds water way too well, but that's okay. We got our box back. I probably just killed this spot. But we'll see. All right, where did I leave off on the story? Really? Nah. -uh. Immediately. First cast out. There you have it. That one's even prettier than the last one. There we go. Right there. Very pretty. He's free. I'm sorry. No, you're good. What's that? Oh uh, yeah, he's <laughs> going back in now. There he goes. Wow. Awesome. Let's see if we can use the same lure. Ha! I think we can. I didn't even believe it that time. It immediately hit the water and then just bam. I don't know why they're so hungry. I gave them a whole wrap. <laughs> Should have fed him for days. That one was bigger than the previous, but he was a lot easier to reel in. It has turned out to be a wonderful day. I don't know why I sounded like Eddie right there from Ed, Ed, and Eddie. It has turned out to be a wonderful day. This spot is definitely dead now. <laughs> I guess it was worth falling down the river to find this spot. There must be somewhere further down the river that people are getting out of because I have seen no one come back up here. They probably got like a second car. Okay, so I'll quickly summarize the story I was telling and pick back up where I left off. So I saw the drunk guys, they got on the roof of the car. This was all last night, got on the roof of the car, driver slammed on the gas, one dude fell off the, the roof of the car. Pick him up, get in the parking lot, say, hey man, let's find your friend. I don't know where he drove off to. Then his buddy came back to help him. The other one that was on the roof of the car, but the driver's still nowhere to be seen. I get both their names, their real names eventually. The dude that fell off the car is Josh. The dude that walked back is Canyon. Finally got a hold of the driver by calling their own phones that they left in the car. Said he was coming back for him. Never came back for him. We called him again. Said he was at their apartment one city away. I decided I'm just going to drive them to 
Josh's apartment. We finally get back to their apartment, open the gate, start driving in, and Josh was freaking out, or Canyon was freaking out, freaking out about having to use the restroom. So I was like, man, do you want me to just pull over? You can pee in the grass. He's like, no, no, I'll hold it, just go, just go. I was like, all right, man. Don't piss in my car. We finally get next to their apartment and they're like, man, I don't see Steven, where's my car? And then Canyon hops out, he goes to take a piss. Josh is like, oh, it's whatever. I just need to get my keys and we'll go in the apartment. I was like, you had your keys on you? He's like, yeah, I brought my bag in here. I was like, in my car? He said, yeah. I was like, you didn't bring anything with you. You didn't have nothing on you. He's like, I brought my keys. I had my bag in here and he starts searching through my car. I was like, bro, you didn't have, you didn't bring nothing in my car, I promise you. I was like, but I might help you look just cause I don't want there to be any discrepancies here. I helped y'all get to an entire other city and now you're saying you left something in my car that you never brought to begin with. So we searched through my car and of course he doesn't find them. I was like, you say your keys are with your phone, right? In that bag? He's like, yeah, I had it right here. I was like, dude, we called your phone and your buddy answered. He had it in his car. He's like, are you serious? I was like, yes, your stuff is in the car. That's the whole reason I took you guys to here to begin with, because you didn't even have a phone. He's like, oh, how are we gonna get into my apartment? And Canyon's like, is anyone in there? Josh is like, uh, I think my roommate Marshall might be. And he's like, all right, I'm gonna go knock on the door. It's like, okay, whatever. I'm gonna try to call Steven again, because I don't know where this dude is. He didn't stay at the apartment, wasn't there. I don't know where he went. So not only did he flake on picking him up, but then he flaked on staying at the apartment. Still has all of these guys, everything. Wallets, keys, phones. And then I hear, boom, 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 boom. I was like, fuck, dude, he is slamming on that door hard. We're still in the parking lot, like very far away from the apartments, and he is smashing on Josh's apartment door. I was like, hey, you gotta go tell Canyon to stop. He's gonna piss off the neighbors and they're gonna call the police. Like, I'm doing everything I can to stop the police from being called to our location. And these guys are not making it easy. Anywho, so Josh is like, all right, I'll go stop him from knocking. And I still hear boom, 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 boom. I was like, fuck. I need to just ditch these guys here. This is getting me worried. They come back and I was like, so it wasn't open and Canyon goes, no, do you have like a card I can use to try to open the lock with? I was like, yeah, I got an old gift card here. Just take it. And he goes back and he starts to try to open the door with it. And of course he can't get it. So they both come back to my car. I was like, well, Steven's not answering y'all's phones. 